Welcome back to My Who Makes It. During this time of year, we love to spend a little more time thinking about what we're thankful for and giving to those that we love. And you can probably guess that one of my favorite things to give is dishes that I make in the kitchen. And one thing that I love to make during the holidays is country breakfast pies. And if you haven't had a country breakfast pie before, it is savory and filled with spicy sausage and peppers and onions, some egg and cheese, and it's delicious. You might be familiar with quiche, sometimes it's called that, or country breakfast pie. Um, and so today, to help us make this pie, we're going to be joined by a very special guest, my mom! So mama, why don't you tell us how you start the pies? Like, what's your first step? Okay, well, the first thing we would do is we brown the breakfast sausage. Now, we always use spicy because right. we like the hot, like but if you don't like spicy, you can use a regular roll or you can use a maple flavor, just whatever it is that you like. So you brown the breakfast sausage and then you place it on a, paper, on a plate lined with paper towels to let it drain. You are a pro at these pies, right? I mean, you take them to people at church and to neighbors and everybody raves about them. How'd you even start making them? Like, where'd you find the recipe? Well, I think it's around 1988. It's been a while because you or your sister was not born when I started. <laughs> but I, I, I would look through magazines and find different recipes that I thought would be tasty. Mm -hmm. And when I made this one after the first time, it was a hit. I mean, I it, it was really well received. And so um, that's how I got started making them. Wow, so you've been making them ever since, just like that. Yes. And so we have browned the meat and we let it drain. And so now my step was to always chop the vegetables. And so we want to use one green bell pepper um, and a red bell pepper, an orange or yellow bell pepper, and then a jalapeno. And so you only need about um, one tablespoon, I'd say, of each of those vegetables. So you're going to just chop them up a small dice you don't want chunks you don't have to bite right. into too much right. and we really just use all of those vegetables because it's a nice variety of mm -hmm. color right we yes. throw in some onions too yes. just because it looks pretty but if you don't have all of those things don't worry about it you can just use green and red and it'll still look great right for some reason these pies i always made them in multiples yeah uh, <laughs> usually we would eat one and maybe freeze the other because they freeze well you can pop them out later or i would share but either way they get eaten yes that's true and so another one of my steps was to mix together the sausage and the cheese. And so we do one roll of sausage um, and one and a half cups of Swiss cheese for each pie. Right. And so I would just toss it together and put it in the pie crust and then chop it with those vegetables that we chopped earlier. And then my mom would mix together the whipping cream and the eggs and then chop it. So we would do like one cup of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, and then four eggs in each pie. So you mix those together really well and then you pour them on top. Make sure you spread the vegetables evenly on top of the pie. That helps with that presentation, the look of it. And then you just, after you get them spread it, you pour the egg and um, whipping cream mixture on top and you make sure you cover the whole pot. Right. Then once you do that, I always like to take a brush and do a, go around the edges mm -hmm. and kind of um, brush the edges. Brush the those. edges. Right, the same and, and that makes the crust look very, um, it helps it to brown and right. look very pretty. Now we'll place the pies in the oven at 375 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. In our oven, it usually works for 40 minutes, but it might take a little bit longer in yours, so just keep an eye on it. Um, and then they'll be ready to go, just like that. And now I was thinking, do you remember like what age I was when I started cooking in the kitchen or how old I was when I was kind of good at it? Well, you were pretty young. <clears throat> I would say around six or seven when you started coming into the kitchen and doing things. But by um, middle school, for sure, you were cooking up things. I mean, you were the type of kid that a lot of kids said, there's nothing to eat. You would go in the kitchen and find something to eat yeah. and fix it up. So you've been at it a long while. You're right. I was a little bit extra even back then as a kid. I literally remember not that long ago, 
Um, one time I went to school and I had packed up my lunch the night before and so I helped with dinner and we had like meatloaf and potatoes and stuff like that. And so I packed up my little Tupperware and took it to school for my lunch. Um, and so one of my classmates was like, wow, that's a whole meal there. So, hey, I can't help it. I'm a little bit extra. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the pies are out of the oven and so y'all know what that means. It's time for us to taste it. So mama, would you do the honors and cut it up for us? Sure. Okay, there's one for you and one for me. Let's try it. Let's. Mm. Pretty good. We did that. Out of the park, great. And remember, you can have these for brunch, you can have them for breakfast, you can have them for lunch or just a snack. Mm -hmm. And you can even have it for dinner. All you have to do is add a salad, a glass of tea, or your favorite drink and a dessert. Yeah. And you've got dinner. So we are going to finish off this one probably over the next couple of days. Um, but we're going to wrap up the other one and give it to someone. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching and thank you mama for being our special guest today. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed being here. So if y'all want to see more of my mom or you want to see us make a recipe together, make sure that you like this video and comment down below what you think we should make. She makes a Southwestern quiche that's pretty good too. It might be good. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos. Follow me on Instagram, and if you make this recipe or any of my others, be sure that you tag me so that I can repost it. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.